the kids don't normally come to school like this. We're going to bring them back to the 1500s. But we are getting ready for our magical dinners next week. This is the highlight of our, one of the highlights of our season, and um, the kids look forward to it every single year. We hope that the audience uh, leaves feeling changed in some way. That they come in maybe carrying some of the, the burdens of the world and when they, leave, when they leave, some of that is gone. They've been able to spend an hour, an hour and a half with us and not have to worry about all that outside world. And that somehow we've touched them uh, in a way that inspires them to go out and, and create beauty in life or to go out and, and spread love and kindness and joy to everyone else. So that's always our goal is to to uh, inspire our audience and to um, kind of transport them into another world for a little bit. Now, this is a major event for us. It's a lot of music to learn. Um, it allows us to really get into some fine-tuning details and the skills that they use and learn through that allow us to do really well in competitions as well. This is the embodiment of Christmas for me. Like, Christmas Day is great and it's for your family and whatever, but magical season is the way we can bring that feeling of hominess, of like, just the holidays to the school. A lot of kids will complain like about like school is such a drag and school is this and that and the other, but for magical seasons, that commons area is Christmas. It's a castle, it's everyone is at home, everyone is a family, everyone is just joined together and like gets to just, you know, be at home and be at family with their school family.